Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike Wee Maiden, as I ran across the man, Al Buddings, former head baseball coach at Moraine Valley, and now the honoree at the pitch and hit dinner tonight. How are we doing? Well, uh, we're doing fine, and this is uh, a, a night that I've waited for for a while. I've been to these things since the 60s, if you can believe that, Mike. Mm -hmm. 1960, back at the old Martinique, I started going mm -hmm. to these things. So this is, the, uh, I hope not the end of the road, but just another uh, street on led into this place. Another notch in the belt. Yeah, you go. Let's take us back and review some of Al Buddy's accomplishments as a coach. Oh, uh, that won't take long. Um, well, I, I, you know, People say, how long have you been coaching? And I go, uh, about 60 years, because when I was seven and on my first team, I started bossing people around. Uh, no, I've been coaching almost 40 years now. And it's I think I might have known you at least 20 of those. Uh, I, at le oh, yes, Mike, at least that, yeah. We go way back in the summer league baseball. But I started coaching, coaching high school baseball in 1967. And in and out of the area a couple times. I uh, coached at William & Mary. Division One baseball for a while. Coached uh, back here at Moraine, as you well know, and that's where we bumped heads for I don't know how many years, but a long time. Um, very little summer ball, but some summer ball. And now the last five years, I've been coaching in Europe. Uh, I have a club over there, and uh, this will be my fifth year with them. Are you the assistant coach? I promise I'll stay out of trouble. <laughs> Well, I was going to say they probably wish I'd bring an assistant that uh -oh. they could, he could keep me out of trouble. Um, it's been a lot of fun keep teaching those uh, German kids baseball. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm most proud of, it's a new organization. We've only been uh, in operation for eight years. Mm -hmm. And at the end of last summer, we have seven kids traveling the world on German all-star teams or German national teams. Mm -hmm. uh, that's quite an accomplishment for a small village up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Quite proud of what we've been able to do there. But it's not me, it's the kids. I just give them the bats and balls and away they go. What are some of your, your real special accomplishments you feel that you've done in the Chicago area as a coach? Well, I'm most proud of, of what I was able to accomplish at Moraine. Um, when I went to Moraine, I was the fifth coach in five years. And um, then I was there the next 18 years. You left a legacy. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did meet a lot of people. I still bump into people constantly that, that, that played for me, uh, whether it be in the grocery store or at functions like this. And, and if, I, if it's not the player, it's somebody, a relative or a friend of. Case in point, uh, I was introduced to Dan Rowan uh, a few minutes back, and his nephew, who you may remember, Billy Jacobson, played first base for me in those early years. Jake was an all-star for the N4C in those days. I was his nephew, and so, uh, you know, you know, the baseball world is small. Baseball is small. Baseball world is small. I mean, you, you meet a guy like this and it leads to a hundred more people, you know? The coach on the road at the Pitcher Hit Dinner with the honoree, our buddies. Appreciate it.